We are tracking the tropics for you tonight. Took 60 days, but there's finally a named storm in the Atlantic. All right, Ivan, where's Danielle and where's it going? Yeah, Danielle's in the middle of nowhere and it's going nowhere. How about that? <laughs> now, we'll just get rid of that one. But I tell you what, we're tracking those uh, two areas there and I will get to uh, Danielle here, but there's that big X that we've been looking at and there's the uh, system across, so it's a tropical wave across the uh, Cabo Verde Islands. That's not going to do anything. But this is the one we've been watching because, you know, it's closer uh, to the U.S. It's still a mess right now. It's just elongated area of thunderstorm activity. We talked about this yesterday. Remember the National Hurricane Center had it 80 percent down to 70 percent. One of our reliable models here isn't even uh, making this into a tropical storm. We'll continue to watch it. Whatever happens here again, uh, this is the window of opportunity. It's still forecast by all the models to head out to sea, so that's not going to be an issue as the jet stream uh, gives us an assist there and dips in for the holiday weekend. All right, so this is where Danielle is 2,232 miles out in the north Atlantic. That was the first storm we can produce as the season has gone this way, right? 5 p.m. advisory. There is Tropical Storm Danielle. This is the key. It's basically stalled. It's going to spin in place for a few days. Watch this track now as I put this in motion. Be able to see by Monday this becomes a Cat 1 hurricane and Tuesday in the same area there across the North Atlantic. So obviously not a threat to land. So we're looking still pretty good. I think no threats for Florida or the U.S.